Howdy everyone, I'm back at it again. Today we're going to take my new Hobie compass out and see if we can hook into some bass. I've got it all loaded up and ready to go. So I haven't done much to this kayak as far as rigging so far. The one thing I have done is added the power pole mount, but I'm not even going to bring the power pole anchor out today. We're not supposed to have too much wind out here today, so I don't think I'll need an anchor. Get the Mirage Drive dropped in. I think I'm deep enough for that. Quick release here for the rudder. I'll drop the rudder down. Got rudder control to my left here. And away we go. So this isn't the first trip I've taken the Hobie out. I've had it out a few times. I just haven't really caught much worth posting a video with. So hopefully today we can change that. early June right now. Bass are generally up shallow this time of year. I've got myself set up with a wacky worm, a watermelon gold flake, yum dinger. You usually do pretty well throwing that set up this time of year when those bass are up shallow. You put that wacky worm in front of them and it's tough for them to say no. But like I said, I haven't really done much rigging on this kayak yet. I plan on putting the fish finder and probably putting another hatch on it, maybe an anchor trolley. I'm thinking I'll do that in the next week because there's another lake I'd really like to go hit a mid lake hump with this kayak, but I kind of need my fish finder to do that. But I don't think we'll really need it today. The water out here is pretty clear. Usually what I do is just stick to that depth where I can just barely see the bottom. And usually I'll see some bass swimming around. If they are in the area. But we've got some rushes up there. This looks kind of fishy. A little log poking out up there. We'll start right here and work our way along the shoreline here. I used to fish this lake quite a bit several years ago. And I don't know why, I just kind of quit fishing it. I think the water level dropped. The numbers seemed to go down a little bit. But I know this lake does hold some big largemouth bass. So I figured we'd Come give it a try out here today. See what we can catch. I'll just toss one a little bit deeper here. See if anything goes thump. Water level is kind of low out here on this lake right now. Back when I fished it in the past, I, for the most part, just worked the outer edge of those rushes but I don't know if they're going to be quite deep enough to be holding much for fish. Well, I might cruise up there and check it out. See if we see anything up there. bed right there. I don't know, maybe there's some fish up shallow. There we go. I got a thump right there. Is this a bass? 
Yes, it is. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Give him a net. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. First fish of the day. That really did not take long at all, either. Nice chunky bass on the wacky worm. Man, that is awesome. I saw another nice looking fish up shallow here alongside this one too, so. Maybe those fish will be up shallow. Oh, there he is right there. We'll let that one go real quick. I'm gonna stick my worm in front of his buddy over here. There we go. I got his buddy too. Oh, he shook it. He shook my worm. <laughs> Darn it. Well, that was pretty cool though. I'm gonna stand up here. Maybe there's more than just those two over here. That's the way the day is going to start out. It's going to be a good day out here, I think. So he's definitely got a lot more stability than my tarpon does. I feel quite a bit more comfortable standing up in this thing. Got a bunch of bluegill chasing my worm right there. I think I gotta get turned around and we'll keep working our way down the shoreline here. There we go. That was an instant thump as soon as that worm hit the water over there. Look at that. Nice. I just love fishing clear water like this. Come here, little buddy. Look at that. Another one on the wacky worm. I just love that Senko this time of year. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. We'll get him back in the water quick. Uh-oh, let this boat see me catch a fish. They're gonna cut right in front of me now, I bet. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of water to fish out here on this lake. There's about a half dozen other boats out here already. Look at this one right here, you guys. That's a nice fish right there. Stop to think about that worm. Uh-oh, little pike. Please don't take my worm. Oh. 
gotta say one thing I'm really liking with this Hobie is the stability. It's so much easier to stand up in this thing compared to my tarpon. Little pike on the wacky worm. Yeah, both kayaks are gonna have their pros and cons. The tarpon is gonna do a lot better in those shallow, weedy areas where I don't want the flippers getting hung up in the weeds. Whereas the Hobie here, if I wanna do a lot of stand-up fishing or cover some water, this is probably the kayak that I'll take. So I caught a couple fish working my way along the shoreline. I figured I'd pedal out here. We've got a mid-lake hump right here. I kind of wish I had my fish finder for this to see where we're starting to come up on depth, but so far it seems like most of these fish are up pretty shallow today anyway. Let's see if there's any bass hanging out up here. I'm going to stand up so I can get a little bit better view, I think. Certainly looks fishy up here. One nice thing about fishing that wacky worm on a lake like this is I'd really hate to be tossing a jig out here if you can see all the green stuff on the bottom. It's that angel hair algae that I'd be picking off my jig every single cast or anything, any type of lure I'd make bottom contact with in this stuff. A wacky worm, it's pretty easy to keep it up above that muck. There's a bass sitting right up there along the edge. Not a real, real big one. We'll keep looking for the giant. Oh, there's a nice one right there. About the same size as that last one, but we'll try to catch this one real quick. There's a bass. Okay, like, hey buddy, you gonna feed me or what? Oh, we're getting into some here. Look at this, I'm starting to see all kinds of fish up here. I've got this one just swimming off to the side of me here. It looks like he's hungry. Got him. Where are you going? That's not bad fish at all. I didn't think he was quite that big. But man, they're all just so thick and healthy looking out here. Another one that could not say no to that wacky worm. That's such a fun way to catch them in this clear water too. You see those fish swimming around, just drop that worm in front of them, give it a couple little twitches and watch that fish inhale it. Reach for the paddle. Felt a little dump on my line. I 
Oh, you stay out of those weeds. Come here, you. Look at that. Another chunky one. Man, they're all just super thick looking bass today. Nice. Still working my way around this mid lake hump here. Found a couple fish willing to bite. I've seen several that weren't quite willing to bite too. I don't know, I probably just got a little bit too close to a few of those fish. But man, what a perfect day to be out here. Nice fish. Right off the point of the rushes there. Come on over here, you. They are just hammering that wacky worm today. Another beauty of a largemouth. Catch you later. Oh, I'm so happy I'm catching a few fish in the Hobie. <laughs> I'm starting to think this kayak was bad luck or something. This is the fourth time I've had it out now. And I mean, well, I got skunked one of the times. A couple of the times I didn't get skunked, but I mean, I just didn't really catch much that I wanted to spend 12 hours editing. I'd rather wait till I catch some decent fish like we are here today. It's been a fun day so far. I've only been out here maybe an hour. We've got probably a half dozen nice bass in so far. Nothing wrong with that. I wish I could get them to hit top water on this lake, but I've just never really had much luck with top water out here. A wacky worm is usually what I'll end up throwing. Sometimes the jig, but if it's calm enough, that wacky worm is really hard to beat. Oh, I'd say that didn't feel like a bluegill bite, but it wasn't a real big bass bite either. Oh, it's a perch. <laughs> Look at that little perch on the wacky worm. Maybe that's what's been nibbling at that worm just about every single cast. Yeah, just had another one nibbling at it there. I'll say this rotor can be kind of frustrating. Sometimes it doesn't always do exactly what you want it to do. Sometimes you gotta jiggle that handle to get it to react the way it's supposed to. I mean, 90% of the time it does what you expect, but it's that 10% of the time that it doesn't. That's probably gonna prevent me from taking this kayak out on the river where sometimes I need that instant reaction that you get actually having a paddle in the water. When I see myself about to drift into a tree or something, I don't wanna start pedaling and have my kayak not do what I want it to. But maybe I just need to get a feel for it still. I've only used it a few times and I mean, I've been fishing out of that tarpon for what, a dozen years now.
little bass. Probably the smallest one of the day so far. Not a bad fish though. All right, it's not just perching here. Yeah, the other tough part is when you kind of get blown into, into this type of stuff or just trying to fish this type of stuff in general that Mirage Drive doesn't really like going through any kind of weeds <laughs> that I've tried it in so far. Just kind of a bummer. I was hoping it would get through like the type of scum that I frog fish around, but I tried that on another lake last week and it really didn't work that well. Not well enough that I'd leave my tarpon at home in exchange for this one. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm fishing shallow water, it's gonna be with the tarpon. Shallow or moving water. But the Hobie will have his place. I'm thinking late summer into fall when these fish move deeper. And I got it all rigged up with a fish finder and everything, I'll get quite a bit of use out of this kayak. But this time of year, I mean, I like being able to go up into this stuff. And it's, it's tough to do that with any kind of pedal drive system. So I'm just pedaling along to the next spot now. Figured while I'm moving along, I'll give you guys a quick look at the gear I'm using. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm tossing the wacky worm today. I've got a watermelon gold flake yum dinger, and I'm using a one aught Gamakatsu EWG hook. And what I do to rig these up, I use a little piece of 3 8 inch clear heat shrink, put that on the worm, shrink it up, and then run the hook just through that heat shrink. And that makes those worms last so much longer. I mean, I could fish a full day out here and probably use one or two worms. And the rod and reel I'm using, I've got a six foot eight medium power extra fast action St. Croix Bass X with a Daiwa Zillion reel. I'm running 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 braid on that. And then I do have about a six foot liter of 12 pound fluoro in front of that worm. I like having that fluoro liter when I'm fishing this clear water. And I'm out here in the Hobie Compass today. I gotta say a big thanks to High Tempo Snow Sports and Water Sports in White Bear Lake for providing me with this kayak. I'm still getting the feel for it, but it is a pretty sweet kayak, I gotta say. It's great for stand-up fishing and covering water on bigger lakes like this. Is there a big old bass hiding under that dock? Let's find out. Oh, nothing on that one. Oh, maybe there was one. I spoke too soon. Come on up here, you. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, about average size we're catching out here today. Nothing wrong with that, though. Nice, healthy bass. It's hanging out underneath the dock there. Couple of bass cruising around right below me here and in front of me. May I interest you in my wacky worm? A 
big old bluegill over there trying to eat it. Oh, well, this bass took a little swipe at it. Got him. Ah, this is so much fun. Sight fishing them like this. Come here, buddy. I just want to take a real quick look at you. And then we'll get you back down there with your buddies. There's a nice one. No dinks out here today. I knew there was gonna be a big one hanging out off that log. Oh, just completely tangled the crap out of my line here too. How does Brad get so twisted up like this? Man, it's the one thing I absolutely hate about fishing braid. That looks like the spot right there. Nice little point off the point. Ooh, something bit it. I think it was just a little bluegill though. That was a bass. Oh, it's a monster, you guys. Oh, get the net. Get the net. Yeet. Hey there, mister. Little guy. There's a fish. This one was out in some deeper water. That's a big one. That might be the big one of the day right there. Oh, it's tough to tell. No, nah, it's another cookie cutter bass. Hey, that's all right though. They are all nice fish today. This might be the last one of the day though. I'm just working my way back toward the launch. I've almost reached the spot where I cut across to the hump out in the middle there earlier. Yeah, I'll keep fishing along a little bit though. See if we can maybe catch one more. It's always one more, one more. I never want to quit. Oh, something thumped it over there. Ah. Followed it all the way back. blowing me way too much. Gonna put on the brakes.
Got him. Oh, I just lost sight of him. He went into a glare spot there, but I can just barely see my worm disappear. Oh, that was cool. Don't you jump. Don't you dare jump. Oh, I don't want to sit down and reach for my net, but I'm gonna. Well, that was pretty cool. That fish missed it once. He chased that worm all the way back and I was able to sight fish him right next to the kayak over here. Man, how much fun is that? All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. I've almost made it back to where I started from. What a fun day of fishing it's been out here today, though. I think it's pretty safe to say that we hammered those bass with the wacky worm. Yeah, they just cannot say no when you put that Senko in front of their face. So I had a blast. We caught a bunch of nice bass out here today. Finally, got some fish slime in the new Hobie compass. I gotta say the Hobie did pretty well out here today. This is a prime example of the type of fishing that I'll use this kayak for anytime I'm out here on more open water, not a lot of weeds on this lake. I know a few months back when I posted that I got this kayak, I think a lot of people just assumed I was gonna throw my tarpon in the garbage or something, but <laughs> I do a lot of shallow water fishing, a lot of river fishing. A lot of the spots I fish, especially this time of year, the tarpon is just gonna be a lot better suited for those waters. Anytime I'm planning on fishing shallow water, moving water, or any type of water where the weeds are real thick, and they'll give me issues with that Mirage Drive, the tarpon is the kayak I'll bring. But come midsummer, into fall, once those fish start moving out a little bit deeper, I'll get a lot more use out of the Hobie. Especially once I get it all rigged up, toss my fish finder on here. That'll probably be the next step. I wanted to get out and get at least one decent day of fishing out of the new kayak before I get it all rigged up. And after today, I'd say mission success. So I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>